All right, y'all, what's up? So <clears throat> a lot of y'all, uh, well, somebody just commented on my recent video of how did I stop doing warehouse work? And um, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about this anymore, but like, I feel like a lot of people are trapped in that cycle still trying to um, get out of the warehouse work. So my suggestions is, so when I was working at the first warehouse, the one that like kind of went, it like went semi-viral. It got like over 100K views. You know, I didn't make any money off the video, which is crazy, you know, but uh, YouTube's pimping me. But uh, yeah, so anyway, my suggestion is when I was doing that warehouse for like, I think like four years, I did that warehouse and I didn't save like any of the money and i know you're gonna be like dang what the hell like i made close to 100k you know one year and i worked 16 hour shifts and i was just buying like dumb shit i wasn't buying like cars and shoes and stuff but i was buying like dumb stuff off of amazon like stuff like i don't even own it anymore and it's crazy how much stuff i bought i bought a lot of like stuff for this youtube channel you know i bought cameras i don't even own half those cameras anymore I bought uh, my wireless mics because for a little while I thought I was going to do pranks and that just wasn't my thing. Tried it out, you know, so it wasn't all a waste of money, but I didn't save a dollar of it. I don't have any of that money today is what I'm saying. And I know it's crazy to say that. And you're probably looking at me like, damn, this guy, like he's a loser. Why right? he didn't save nothing like you spent all that time in that warehouse and you didn't say nothing? Yes, I agree with you. It was a very dumb decision. I was very, I never made that type of money in my life. I really didn't have uh, anybody to guide me financially. I had a lot of people around me saying, save that money, save that money, but I wasn't listening. You know, I just um, was very hard headed. And this is going back to my pride video of saying like, oh, uh, being too prideful can hold you back. It can. So. And I'm not blaming anybody, you know, because uh, at the end of the day, you should take accountability for all your mistakes in life. You know, you, you, that's how you be a better person. Take accountability for everything that goes wrong in your life. Now, I'm taking full responsibility on that. Nobody made me spend that money. Nobody made me not save that money. I've even had people in my life when I was working that warehouse video tell me stack that money, stack that money. My barber, when he used to cut my hair, I was working at a car wash before that. He used to tell me, hey, save that money, save that money. I hated that job. I hated that job, but I wasn't saving money back then. And that transferred into that. I'm not saying I was kid, I was dumb because around that time I was around 26 when I started working there, you know? Um, so full responsibility, I'm a grown man, you know? Um, but for my people that keep going back to the warehouse like this guy who commented in, and also i appreciate you watching me you know um stack your money save your money if you're going to go back to the warehouse don't stay in that cycle of staying in the warehouse stack your money i wish i would have saved some of that money i wish i would have stacked some of that money and invested it in something else there was these um these this african dude that i work with uh i don't know if he watches my channel but like uh I used to think he was like dumb for like working all these out. He would voluntarily work 16 hour shifts, six days a week, but he was also building a business on the side. Another African dude there, he was doing the same thing, but in, I guess he opened his own trunk trucking company. I wish I would have done something like that. He was very smart because he knew he didn't want to do this for the rest of his life. Now, mind you, he probably came from a country where it's a little, I don't know how, where he came from, but, um, well, yeah, I, he came, I think he came from Ghana, actually, you know, um, he knows the value of the dollar here, you know, so he, he was like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work all these hours and I'm going to stack this money and I'm going to invest in my business. He had like a clothing brand. The other guy opened his own trucking business. That's something I wish I would have did with the money because then I would have had um, residual income come fast forward now today, you know, not me trying to uh, rebuild my savings now, you know, I would have had a great cushion. I still have a savings now, but I would have been way more up there if I would have just put my head down and stack my money. Um, so if you find yourself going back to the warehouse, what are you doing with your money? Are you saving your money? Are you saving your money? Because I don't know where you, you live at. I don't know where people live at in the world. I got people watching me from all over the world. You know, some people said Europe, all that stuff. Uh, but if you're going to do that work in my hometown, warehouses pay the 
pretty good. Like you're not getting a warehouse job for under $20, you know, and some of them will try to do it, but I wouldn't do it because a lot of warehouse now up there pay 20 and up, you know, maybe 23 and up, you know, um, I had one where it started me off at $25 an hour, you know, and that's pretty good when you're working all those hours because it adds up and it goes into OT, then it goes into double time. You do the math. You're making good money. You know, it's just sucky work. It's really repetitive, uh, shitty work. Like, let's just keep it 100. Let's keep it real. Like it sucks, you know, but you're working those long hours. And this is going back to my other video. Like if you hate your job, uh, save that money and get out of that position. You know, like this is really how the warehouse system keeps you trapped. It's like they throw all this money at you and you think you're rich. So you start upgrading your life to crazy expenses. You're buying uh, new cars, new house. Um, like I said, in the other warehouse videos, I've seen a lot of my coworkers they got that money and they, they started buying new cars, car payment. One dude told me his car payment was 500 a month. That's crazy. Just for you to come back in this warehouse every day. You're not, you barely get to enjoy the car because he was always at the warehouse with me. He was there like majority of the time, six days a week. You know what I'm saying? But you went and got a brand new car and you're paying 500 a month. You're struggling just to hold on to the car, but you did it just to impress people that don't even give a fuck about you. That's the same, you know, like you're impressing people that don't even care about you. So if you're going to do the warehouse, do it right. Go to the warehouse, maybe do it for like six months, stack as much money as possible. I, if you got bills, put a little to the side, pay your bills, put a little to the side, pay your bills. In six months, you'll see a difference. You'll see a difference. You're like, oh shit, I got all this little, this little nest egg right here. Maybe I can go do something else. Maybe I can go invest in a property or something like that. I swear, I wish I could go back in time and do that shit. Well, actually, I don't wish I can go back in time because I, I'm a big believer everything happens for a, uh, a reason, you know? But if I was back then, I wish I could tell myself, hey, say like, stop, bro. What are you doing? You know, be smart with your money, you know, you know, stack the money, stack the money. And you wondered how I stopped going back to the warehouse. I just got to a point in my life. Like, don't get me wrong. There's been times where I've been struggling here and I'm thinking like, oh, shit, maybe I should go do the warehouse again. But I did that one time, you know, in um, back in my hometown in Minnesota. I don't know if you'll y'all seen my video, but back in it, uh, it was like way like two years ago. Anyways, shit was going really bad in my life. I was doing Instacart. You know, I had I swore off warehouse. I was doing Instacart and Instacart started slowing down. You know what I'm saying? Then I had got into an accident with my car. My car had got messed up. I needed a new car. Um uh and it seemed like everything was hitting me at once and i was like damn the only way i know how to make money now is going back to a warehouse and this is when i was with my girl and she told me if you hate the warehouse so much why are you going back to it and i was like oh my stubborn self was like oh this is the only way i can make money you know what i'm saying and i think they were starting me off at like mm, 23 an hour i think it was like 23 an hour but as soon as i got in there dim you walk in there is dim there's no windows everybody's got that look on their face like they hate the they hate their job they hate their life you know what i'm saying it's just a whole negative down effect and i just can't i just can't be in that position anymore and me i i, I stuck it out for like half a week not even a whole week and i came into work one day and i told this on another video it was like seven in the morning, six thirty in the morning when I started. It was like the early morning shift. And I'm sitting there in that warehouse, just like angry at myself because I found myself back. And the only person I could be angry at is myself because I put myself in this position. Um, knowing there's other things you can do to make money. I just wanted to take the, like the, I wouldn't say the easy way out because warehouse is far from easy. And I was just, I just couldn't do it. I walked out. I told the dude, uh, the dude who was training me, um, it was 12 hour shifts, I think like 23 an hour. I said, I got to go use the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I just walked out. I didn't, I clocked out and walked out. You know, I didn't say nothing to nobody. I never came back. I never returned to a warehouse. I told myself I'm never going back there. I never going back. And since then, matter of fact, and I didn't go home and mope. I, I called my girl and told her what happened. But uh, this is before we were living together. But I didn't go back to a warehouse after that. I, I stuck to my word. But uh, when I left, 
I went back to grinding. I tried Instacart for a couple hours, but like I said, it was dying down. It was trash for a while. So I just tried that for a couple while. And then uh, I actually, a couple weeks later, I started doing Amazon DSP. So I just tried different things, you know? That's what you gotta do. Um, especially if you don't got any skills. I, I recommend you get a skill. A lot of people tell me go into trade work. It's good money. There's nothing wrong with it. But I recommend getting a skill. But if you can't get a skill right now, I know understand like life hits you sometimes. Uh, try different things. Amazon DSP. I just did a video. I was talking about the, the driver who uh, hit somebody. I did Amazon DSP for like almost a year, you know? It was pretty good money. I was making like 4K a month, you know? Um, sometimes 41 a month, you know? Uh, that's not bad money, you know? Depending on where you live. Um, and they were giving me all the hours I wanted, you know? It was not easy. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't easy, but like once you get into a rhythm and you learn the process, then uh, it gets easier. Now I tried Instacart. I was driving a truck for a while, you know, delivering uh, insulation to different buildings, to construction sites for insulators and stuff. I was doing that. I did a lot of different things. And then when I came to Vegas, I made sure like I would never go back to a warehouse. I, I promised myself I would never do that, you know? So that's why I've been trying little different things here to trying to figure it out. And yes, I'm gonna develop a skill eventually, you know? But like, and I know a lot of people have backgrounds like records and stuff, like, um. But there's still places that will hire you. I know warehouse is a top paying place. Like I, warehouse hires a lot of felons. If you got a felony, it's your options are limited, you know. But like, there's gig work. We did Am Me and my girl did Amazon Flex too, you know. I did DSP. DSP is where you drive their cars. For y'all that don't know, DSP is where you drive their cars. And then Amazon Flex is where you take your own car and work off the app. And we make good money doing that too. You know what I'm saying? Um, when Instacart died, I went to that, you know, I went to those other options. I told myself, Hey, look, I'm going to just try a bunch of stuff. And if it doesn't work out in the end of the day, one thing I like about like people that, uh, try a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you can tell, you can tell yourself like, Oh, at least I tried. But if you didn't try at all and you just, uh, kept going back to the same thing and you wake up one day and you're like, 50, 60 years old, still in the position that you hate it. Well, you didn't try. If you didn't try, then it's your fault, you know? So like my, my advice to people that can't get out of this warehouse cycle is try a bunch of different things. Try to learn a skill, try to do apps. There's tons of apps, you know what I'm saying? I know they don't pay the best, but there's tons of apps. Uh, there's other jobs out there, like the job I was doing, um, they were trying to trade, um, they wanted to train me. Well, they didn't want to train me, but they offered me to get into a trade, like, uh, install an installation. When I was doing that truck driving drive, delivering to the insulators, I delivered these big old wraps and like a box truck to them. Those jobs, it's hard work, but they pay like 45 an hour starting, you know, when you start off, you got to go to school and like uh insulation school or something like that i don't know the whole gist of it but it's about an eight month thing eight month thing or something and you're starting out making 45 an hour good damn money you know so like yeah there's a bunch of stuff out here you know uh, electrician plumbing all that you know i don't knock anybody who does that stuff hey if you want to do that yeah, that's good money you know try a bunch of different stuff i've done security out here i've done a lot of different jobs out here since I've been out here, you know, you can't, you can't knock yourself for ever not trying. So, um, that's my advice to you or anybody else just stuck in the cycle. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.